leave one and they hold a seven nothing lead back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left of this one from Safeco Field. Digging in and looking for more. Robbie DiBiase. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. DJ Johnson started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0 and 1. That misses wide, one ball and one strike. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there, 1 and 2. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. DJ Johnson is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. Matt Olson is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Two out, nobody on. And that's cut on and missed, so now the A's are down to their final strike of the ball game. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, I'm kind of running out of words to describe how incredible this winning streak has become. Every win just cements their legendary status, and it's not even over yet. A 7-0 shutout final score tonight. The M's win game number 140, most in the league. Steven Strasburg records victory number 28, striking out 12 in the process. Edwin Diaz takes the rare three-inning save, his league-leading 59th of the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left two men on base. For the Athletics, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.